Hi Kipsters, today we are going to talk about how to find the least common multiple. Now, in years past and when I was in school and probably the way you learned, you learned how to find the least common multiple by listing out the multiples of the given number. In the past, you would have written, or give me the multiples of 20. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and so on. The multiples of 12 it would have been 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, 72, and so on. Now, you would have looked for the smallest shared multiple because that's what the least common multiple means. It means to find the least smallest common mean shared multiple. And a multiple is taking a certain number and then counting up by that, that many number of times, okay? So, 20, 12, let's start with 12. Do I see 12 up here? No. Do I see 24 up here? No, it's not shared. 36 up here? No. 48 up here? No. 60 up here? Yes. So it is shared, and it is the smallest shared multiple of both 20 and 12. Therefore, the least common multiple of 20 and 12 is 60. Now, that's one method of doing it. However, I'm going to show you how to do it using the method that we can use from prime factorization. Okay? And again, for more information on prime factorization, you can watch the video on prime factorization. 2, 10, 2, 5, 5, 1. Prime factored out. Next, 12. 2, 6, 2, 3, 3, 1. Now what we do is we look for the common factors first. All right? I see a 2. Do I see another 2? Yes, so I cross it out. I see a 2. Do I see another 2? Yes, so I cross it out. I see a 5. Do I see a 5 over there? No. That's it here, so I'm not going to look for any more common factors. because That's the end of, of this prime factorization. So remember, the greatest common factor was the product of the crossed out factors. And the product of 2 times 2 is 4. So that's the greatest common factor. But the least common multiple is the product of the uncrossed out factors. Okay? Uncrossed out factors. 2 is not crossed out, 2 is not crossed out, 5 is not crossed out. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 5 is 20. Now notice, I'm going to give you a smart cut. If no factors are crossed out in the prime factorization, you can use that starting number to save you some time. So 2 times 2 is 4 times 5 is 20. 20 times 3 is 60. Well, that's the product of the uncrossed out factors, and this common multiple is 60. Let's do another one. Find the least common multiple of 8 and 10. First, prime factor out 8 and 10. 2, 4, 2, 2, 2, 1. Prime factor out 10. 2, 5, 5, 1. Now, I'm going to look for common factors. I see a 2. Do I see another 2? Yes. I see a 2. Do I see another 2? No. I see a 2. Do I see another 2? No. So the product of the crossed out factor is 2. So that's the GCF, but I'm looking for the LCM. LCM is the product of the uncrossed out factors. Remember that smart cut I told you. If no factors are crossed out, then you can take all of these to be the product. That is your first number. And then 8 times 5 is 40. So the least common multiple of both 8 and 10 is 40. Hope you enjoy.